Hi folks, Jeff Saunders here. I own Gamma Piercing in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I'm a former president of the Association of Professional Piercers. This video is intended to explain threadless body jewelry. Threadless jewelry is also called press fit or push pin jewelry. All of these terms are in reference to design popularized and innovated by a company called Neometal. In the past few years, other body jewelry companies have been able to offer threadless ends and posts, so you're definitely likely to encounter this style in most pro piercing studios. Press fit jewelry has three main parts. The ornamental end and the threadless pin, which are connected as one piece, and the barbell, librette, or flat back that the end pushes into. I'll refer to flat backs, librettes, and barbells as posts in this video. That post is the part that's actually situated inside your piercing channel. The pin sits inside the post and secures the decorative end to your post. While the ornamental end and the post are usually made of gold or titanium, the pin may be a different material depending on who manufactured the jewelry. It's important to know the material of the pin because gold pins are much softer and more fragile than steel or titanium pins. Which isn't to say that gold pins are bad, it just requires you to be a bit more careful when inserting them. The way the end fits securely inside the post is by tension, caused by a very subtle bend in the threadless pin. If you have a brand new threadless piece you need to bend for security, you can actually use the post to achieve the right fit. I recommend doing this in a clean area of your home, away from drains or dense carpeting that your jewelry can get lost in if you happen to drop it. What you'll do is insert the pin about a third to half the way into the post. Then apply gentle pressure down on the end to ever so slightly bend the pin. You can always bend the pin more, so don't overdo it. Do a little bit, check, a little bit more, check again. To insert the end all of the way and check the security of the fit you've made, you want to press the gem end all of the way into the post. There is an important technique to this though. If you only use one finger, the bend that you've put in the post is liable to bend over and even snap. The pressure isn't stable enough with just one finger. What you'll want to do is use a thumb and a pointer finger to apply equal pressure straight into the post. Your opposite hand will be there on the back of the jewelry to support the post. If it seems like the end doesn't want to fit in the post, it may be too tight, and that's okay. Don't force it. You'll just want to readjust the bend to make a slightly looser fit. Once you've got the piece in, double check it to make sure it's secure and won't come out without a bit of effort. To remove the end, you'll want to again grasp the end with a thumb and forefinger, as well as holding the opposite end of the post, which is usually the disc or the flat back, with your thumb and forefinger. Then you can pull apart with equal pressure. If this isn't working well for you, you can use leverage to apply pressure against your own thumbs. This pressure gives you a lot more strength and makes the end much easier to remove. In areas like the nose, where it is often difficult to grab the inside portion, you may want to use a tool to grab the inside disc or ball. There are a lot of ways to do this, including the use of hemostats or even sterilized folded wire. We will cover those techniques in another video, but in this video, we'll demonstrate the dental floss technique. I've got about six inches of dental floss here that I've tied in a knot on one end. Then I'll make this simple slip knot by running the floss through a loop I've made. Now I'll get this around the flat disc and gently pull the floss taut around the end. Now I have a very secure grip to pull against, and I'm not using metal tools that can damage the finish on my post. Be careful when you pull the end off because it'll want to go flying if you don't have a finger in place for support. Thanks so much for watching this video. If there's a style of jewelry you want to see me demonstrate, leave a comment for me. I know it's a cliche, but like and subscribe. It helps other people find quality information about body jewelry. As always, support your local high quality piercer. If a great piercer isn't available to you, check out my online store, gammadiamonds.com.